just me and my guitar Hey everyone, this is DJ from DJ Tutorials. Welcome to my channel. Happy holidays to everybody and I hope you all had a great Christmas. Now a lot of you received a new Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K or a Fire Cube for a gift. And in this video, I will show you how to set it up and fully load it with all the apps that you may need. Now first thing we need to do is once you plug it into an available HDMI port on your TV and plug it into the power outlet, this is going to be your first screen. It's going to ask you to pair the remote by pressing the home button, tapping it. So you press it a couple of times until it picks it up. And now you're going to press the play pause button and you continue. In here you can select your language and you press OK. It's going to scan your Wi-Fi networks to see what's available and it will show you what you have. I prefer to use a hardwire a direct connection to my router instead of a Wi-Fi. The direct connection, the hardwired connection is always better. It always gives you your best speed. Wi-Fi, the speed will fluctuate and it makes a difference where the device is located compared to where your router is. And that's a choice too of which one of the networks you're gonna select. So you got here the Netgear 18 that is my 2.4 gigahertz network. And if I go over here to the right, that is the five gigahertz network. If you are close to the router, you can use a five gigahertz. It's gonna be the best connection. It gives you the fastest connection, but it has a shorter range. The 2.4 has a longer range, but it's a little slower. Like I said, if you want, there's an adapter you can buy through Amazon. You can buy either just the adapter for an ethernet cable to connect to your fire tv box or you can get one that has um, a usb hub on it and you can plug in let's say a usb keyboard which makes life easier especially when you're searching for things and also you can put like a thumb drive on there or anything else all right so once you click on a network it's going to ask you to sign in you put your password for your router and then once you find the, the password, you click on connect. I'm gonna be using the ethernet cable. Just give me a second, I press back. It's gonna configure my connection. I'll check for updates, if there's any new updates, it's gonna download them right now. Now in this screen, if you already have an Amazon account, you're just gonna click on this. If not, you need to go to amazon.com click on here for example and go to account and you have to register with Amazon and once you create an account there then you can come back and log in now one thing you need to know is that if you're going to download anything from Amazon even if it's just apps and even if they are free you need to have a credit card payment on their website otherwise it will not allow you to download anything the only other option is downloading an app on your phone or a tablet and side loading everything from there so let's continue we're going to log in first so in here you're going to put your username and password that you have for your amazon account click on next and then we're going to put our password in here and sign in. All right, so now we're signed in. We're going to continue here. If you need to enable parental controls, you can do that here. If not, you just press no. Now the remote that comes with it, the new remotes now, they allow you to control the power and the volume of your TV. So in here we're gonna select the brand of TV that you have, just click on it. Depends on what TV you have, it may ask you to use the power button or like it's asking me here to do the volume. So I press next.
And as you can see, the control of the volume here, you click on yes, and that's it. Let's pause this. And this is a good spot to show you the remote and explain it. As you can see on the top left, we got the power button that controls your TV. Then you got the microphone that you use it to speak into. Um, if you down, if you want to find a, an app, you can use that or a certain show. And there's a lot of more commands that you can use. Then you got your directional pad underneath a big circle. On the perimeter on the rim, you can go up and down, left and right. And in the center, that's your selection tool. You're okay. Underneath the next row, we got from the left, the back button where if you want to go back a screen or something you use that the middle is the home button so no matter where you are if you press the home button it will bring you back to the main home screen and then the three lines that's your options menu context menu as people say too so it depends on what you're using you use that to get your menu to come up and select something from there so if you're on a say in your apps if you press on on an app the option menu it will give you like move it or uninstall it or more info about the app then below we got the um, fast forward the rewind and play pause and your volume control and the mute button all right so let's continue so in here we just press the right button and bypass this whole thing Now we're going to continue here because if you don't have a payment on active payment it will ask you to set up one online in order for you to download now in here if you have like different streaming services let's click on get started it shows you different other options in here um, some other apps in here you can get sports apps some free stuff here too like a Firefox browser, Tubi. If you're done, you just press. If you don't want to download anything right now, you want to do that later, you can press the play pause and we're going to continue. We're going to continue anyway. You can always install them later. Now this is your main home screen. As you can see on the top, we got our home menu. Then you got your videos movies tv shows apps and your settings now if you're an amazon prime member you do get a lot of free stuff in here to watch so let's say if you're going through movies right now you're not going to see this because it's not a prime member account right now but you do have a lot of um movies and tv shows like the Amazon Originals plus other movies that are available in regular 1080p or even 4k Now if we start from the settings first So we go to notifications It's just going to give you a couple information in here like if you want to download Netflix Now if you look at the bottom right, there's the options menu with the three lines next to it If we press it we can dismiss the first message or click on both and it's done We'll go back now the first thing we're going to do in here we're going to go over to preferences we're going to select that i'm going to go down to privacy settings click on that and i'm going to disable these the device usage i'm turning that off collect app uses data collect turn that off and the interest-based ads i'm going to turn that one off too this is a preference you don't have to i just don't personally like them to know which apps I'm using and for how long and what I'm doing. So we're going to press back twice and we're going to go over to my fire TV. Select that in here. We're going to go to developer options. We're going to turn on ADB debugging and then apps from un unknown sources. Turn that on. And this is technically what people say jailbreaking Amazon. That's all you have to do. Just turn this one on. All right, so now we're done with that. We're gonna press the home button. Now there's one more thing actually I should show you. If you go back to settings and go all the way down where it says help, click on here. 
there's a lot of information in here to help you um, use your Amazon Fire TV 4K or Cube. It gives you some videos. You're welcome. Your basics, some troubleshooting, how to set up certain things, some settings. So there's a lot of help information in here. If you're ever trying to find something, you can find it in here. Plus, if you go online to Amazon.com, there's a lot of information on there too. Also, if you ever turn, you know, use this to another TV and you want to use it, control the TV like you do with this one, like the power, volume, and all that, you can go under equipment control, select that. You can turn it off from here. If I click on that, you can manual, automatic, or just turn it off. We go down where it says manage equipment. You can add another one. You can manage the TV. Some settings in here about the volume and power controls and all that, what the remote would do. If you click on change TV, it will be the same thing. Well, you select the TV that you have and it will give you the same option. Either press the power button or use the volume up and down and that will be it. And that's how you change it for another TV. Okay, let's go back home. Now, on the top, if we go to the left ones, you're gonna see the little magnifying glass. This is where you search for your apps and certain other things like movies. You will find them in here. You can use the voice command if you press the microphone down and hold it, or you can just go down and start typing in the letters of something that you're looking for. So we're gonna download an app right now that's called Downloader. So if I start typing in a few letters you can see it's coming up already in the results so I can just go down there and click on it and it will be the first one this one you may use a lot it's one of the top rated and most used app to download apps from other places that's not in your app store click OK and then once we're done we can open it from here we're going to click on allow, click OK. Now with the remote, we're going to move to the left and go down where it says settings. We're going to go to the right ones and enable JavaScript. We're going to select that and go to yes. And we're going to go to the left again and go up where it says home. In here, we're going to type in the following address. It will be bit.ly forward slash yes droid and click OK go this will download fire linked I'm gonna go down where it says install click on that and instead of clicking on open I'm just gonna click on done and now in here I'm gonna click on delete and click delete again now, once you downloaded um, APK and you installed it, there's no need to keep it. Uh, it's just going to take up space on your hard drive, and especially for the Fire TV 4K or even the previous Fire TVs and the Fire TV sticks, they're only limited to 8 gigs of ROM. If you take away operating system and preloaded software, you're a little over 5 point something gigahertz. Uh, gigs of space there's no need to take up extra space for no reason so once you don't need it just delete it all right we're going to go back out and we're going to go back to the home page now we downloaded the file linked which is an app that allows you to connect to a lot of different users that have different apks already installed in there and it's kind of like a one place stop where you can download a lot of APKs now as you can see it's not over here yet because there's other apps in here so you can click on see all or if you press the home button of your remote and hold it down for a couple of seconds you get this screen you can just select apps and it brings you back to the same thing if you clicked on see all before now anything that you install always goes to the bottom so you can click on to the left on the remote and brings it back to the bottom. Or 
you could have just went down the list and see where the bottom, last one is, and that's file linked. Now, if you long press on it, it gives you the option to move it. And when you're done, you press OK, and it just drops it there. Or if you press the Options menu, you can click on Move, or just move to the front, and also you can uninstall it. So if you click on Move to Front, it puts you right in the first of the list. Let's go back home, and now as you can see, it's the first one there. So let's launch this up for the first time. Now there's a lot of YouTubers out there that have um, their own uh, FireLink store. I'm going to show you mine for today, but there's a lot of them out there that have a lot more content in there. And you can also get uh, more APKs and even apps from there. So this one I'm going to dismiss. In here we're going to put in the, my file link code, which is going to be 131-299-21. If you need a moment, you can just pause the video. And once you're done, you move down and you click on continue. Just give it a second and we're going to get another pop-up in here. There we go. It's asking you to subscribe to filing. Just click on dismiss and that's it. Now in here, I got some different apps. Alonzi is one of them that is kind of helpful too because you can install a lot of different apps, let's say from Gears TV or Mayfair Guy Pro and all that using just their numbers. They have a, a number for a download link. So all you have to remember is certain numbers and they're all the same. It's six numbers let's say for Gears TV it will be six number fours so you put those numbers in you don't have to remake the remain uh, remember all the actual address so if you want to download something you where the you see the little arrow pointing down you click on it just give it a second and that was it that's done now I switched over to a play button so if you click on it You get the screen, click on install, and that's it. I'm going to click on done here again. Don't want to click on open. I want to go down the list, and if there's anything else I need to download, I do it all, all at once. And then at the end, I exit and look at all the apps, that, the APKs that I downloaded. So in here, you got BTV. It's for movies and TV shows. It's one of my favorite. You can download that. And click on play. Go down to install. Click on done. And that's it. Go down the list. There's Cinema X Cinema. You got Cyber Flix. ES File Explorer. Free Flix. Got Gears TV. Got Cody. The Mayfair Guide Pro. A mouse toggle. Some programs require a mouse. And this is for your Fire TV, TV Zion, TTV, and that's it. Not too many in my store, but pretty much the most of them are really good and they work. And those are the ones that I usually put in here until I find something else that it's good. And I make sure it's working good before I add it into the store. Now once you're done, you're going to press back. I'm going to click on yes. Now in here the same thing. I'm going to go all the way up using the up on the remote. And I'm going to go to the little trash can with the X on it. I'm going to click on that. And anything that I downloaded and installed, I'm just going to click on yes and remove them from my hard drive. All right. Now if you press back, it brings you back to the main screen. Same thing. Let's go to all our apps. Go to the left. And as you can see, I got... BTV on the bottom, click on the menu, move to front, click on the menu, move to front, and they're all in the beginning of the list. <clears throat> now other things in here that you can download, uh, of course you have your browser in here too, you can download Internet Explorer, um, the Internet browser that it says here is Silk, so you can just click on it, 
I'll download it. You can go back and look on everything else over here. Now you do have a couple of free apps in here from let's say Sony Crackle. It's got some free movies and TV shows that you can find in there. Same thing goes for Tubi. Um, there's another one, it's called Pluto. That's not a bad app to have. It's more free content with some free live TV on there. You can use that. You just have to search for it in here. And then you got ES File Explorer 2. A lot of people use that instead of Downloader. The YouTube app that you see over here, it's not an actual app, it's a shortcut that brings you into the browser. YouTube and um, Google and Amazon still button heads, so they're not having an actual app on here, but at least they have the shortcut. You can find that, the YouTube app, in somebody's file link store, if you want to get the actual app, or you can just download Aptoid and use that for all the other apps that you're looking for. All right. So we go back, as you can see, this is internet, <clears throat> you bring that up, as you can see I got a shortcut bookmark over here for YouTube TV, so I click on that, give you a little menu over here, uh, explanation how to use the remote. You can go down where it says skip, and you're already in. And this is the YouTube. All right, so now we're back here. If you want to go back, you just press the back button of your remote. And if you want to exit, you click on exit. Let's see what else we got in here. Now, if you have a Prime account with Amazon, this will be really good, like I said before. You can get a lot of content from them for free. Same thing with music. You can also install the Netflix. The Alonzi app, like I told you. And you click on Allow. In here, on the top where it says URL, you can type in an actual address. Or if you want to download, let's say, Gears TV, you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Click on Next. Go down to it says Download. And it downloads the file from there. It's that simple. Now when you download it, you go next to where it says File Explorer. Click on that. Here's the APK. Click on it. Go down where it says Install. Click on install and you're done all right so now that you installed it same thing click on gears tv again go down where it says delete and it's gone now if we go back home same thing go to your apps the bottom here's gears tv So that's how you use and set up your Fire TV 4K or the Fire TV Cube. It's really a good box, especially for the price of it. The only downfall of this is that it doesn't come with a lot of space and also you have to buy different adapters to use an Ethernet cable or if you want to use an external drive or anything like that. But besides that, I have to say that it's really good. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below, and I will try to answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like my video, please give me a like, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you click on the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I upload. That should do it for today. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time. Just me and my guitar.